In this lecture we're going to talk about GDP, which we've talked about before in previous lectures, but we're going to talk about it and compare it with real GDP. So GDP and real GDP. GDP we know, GDP is the to total market value of all final goods and services produced annually in a country. Real GDP can be looked at one of two ways. We can say real GDP is simply our GDP but adjusted for any price changes from one year to the next. Or we can say real GDP is the output produced in a country. All those bicycles and houses and clothes, all that output produced in a country in base year dollars. Right? In base year dollars. Now, let's give an example, a numerical example to clearly see the dis difference between GDP and real GDP. So let's say we have a small economy and we have two goods in that economy, X and Y. And currently in that economy, current year, this is the output, 10X and 20Y. All right, so that's the output in the current year. Now let's suppose the prices in the current year are $2 for good X and $3 for good Y. The prices in the base year let's suppose happen to be one dollar for good X and one fifty for good Y. Now let's figure out what GDP is. GDP, to find GDP, we take our current output and we multiply it times current year prices. So our current output is what? Well it's 10X and we're going to multiply that 10x times the current year price of x, which is two dollars. Then we're going to say, what else is being produced? Well, 20y is being produced. What's the current price of y? Three dollars per unit. So we get here twenty dollars plus sixty dollars, which is eighty dollars. Eighty dollars is our GDP in the current year. Now, GDP then is simply two things multiplied together. Current output, current year output time, times current year price. Real GDP now, real GDP. Well, we take our current year output, 10x, but this time we multiply it by base year prices, $1. Plus our 20y, because that's being produced in the current year, times our base year price of 150. So now this is going to be $10 plus $30, that's going to be $40. Alright, so GDP is $80, real GDP is $40. What's the difference? Well, GDP is simply, again, current year output times current year prices, whereas real GDP is again current year output, but this time times multiplied by base year prices. Right? Another name for real GDP is sometimes GDP in base year dollars. Now let's look at this. Suppose GDP in, economy, in an economy rises. Would you know why it has risen? In other words, let's just make up some numbers here and let's say that in year one uh, GDP is equal to 10 trillion dollars. 10 T. T standing for trillion. In year two, GDP is 10.3 trillion. Alright, so we know that GDP is higher in year two than in year one. But do we know why? Well, let's try to figure this out. We know that GDP in year one is simply the output in year one times the prices in year one. GDP in year two is equal to the output in year two times the prices in year two. Okay. Now, the GDP in year one was 10 trillion and the GDP in year 2 was 10.3 trillion.
do we know why the 10.3 trillion goes to year two and is higher than the GDP in year one? Not really. The reason the answer is not really is because, look, there are a number of things that could be different between the two years. First of all, there's an output in year one and an output year two. So it could be the case that output in year two is higher than output in year one. In other words, maybe that's the reason that GDP is higher in year two than year one. In other words, output in year one, we're just going to say is uh, 10x and output in year two is uh, 20x. So one reason that the 10.3 is higher than the 10 could be because the output is greater in year two than in year one. But it may not be that at all. It could be that the prices in year two are higher than the prices in year one. In other words, let's say that the price in year one of X's is a dollar and the prices in year two are $1.50. Maybe that explains why GDP is higher in year two than in year one. So it could be that GDP is higher in year two than year one because prices are higher or because output is higher or it could be because both are higher. We just don't know by looking at these two numbers 10 and 10.3. Now do we have the same problem when we go to real GDP? Real GDP rises, do we know why? So let's take real GDP and suppose that in, in year one, all right, so real GDP in year one equals, let's make up a number here, eight trillion dollars. And real GDP in year two is nine trillion dollars. Now, do we know why real GDP in year two is higher than real GDP in year one? Do we know the reason why? Well, yes, we do. It has to be because there was more output produced in year two than in year one. Because the prices would be the same in the two years. Because we're using what prices in the two years? That's base year prices. Right? In other words, to get real GDP in year one, we're taking the output in that year and multiplying it by base year prices, base year prices. And to get the real GDP in year two, we're taking the output in year two and multiplying it again by base year prices. Well, you'll see that the prices are the same for real GDP in year one and real GDP year two. We're using the exact same prices. So if this is a dollar, let's say, this is going to be a dollar. That means if this number, real GDP in year two, is higher than this number, real GDP in year one, it can only be because output was higher in year two than it was in year one. Well, let's now summarize. What do we mean by GDP? Well, GDP is the total market value of all final goods and services produced annually in an economy. And to compute GDP, we're taking output in the current year and just multiplying it by prices in the current year. Real GDP can be looked upon as GDP adjusted for price changes or that output that is produced in the current year denominated in base year prices. So then we could say well it's output in the current year times not prices in the current year but prices in the base year.